guys, what's up? It's me again, Tom from TTT. Tom's troubleshooting tremendous pick time. Now that was kind of bad, huh? So today we're talking about the home lock feature of the DJI Phantom 3. I want to introduce you into what it does and how we can work things out with it. And actually, I don't really get why DJI didn't implement that. I don't know, into the first version of the Phantom 3s already and why we had to upgrade the software for that feature because I really love it from the Phantom 2 and Phantom 2 Vision Plus already. But now let's just not talk too much. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button, leave a thumb up and right now enjoy the freaky tutorial. Stay tuned. <laughs> Home lock mode explained the easy way. During each and every flight, you can get disoriented in air very easily. You could lose the line of sight or the copter is simply rotated and you don't know where the front, the back, the right and the left are. But of course you would need to know about those directions to safely get your copter back. No matter how far the copter is away from you, 40 meters, 400 meters or even 4000 meters, you can simply activate the home lock and hold the right stick of your remote controller back and the Phantom will fly towards its home point, which usually is the takeoff position. It doesn't matter if the copter is rotated, you simply hold the stick back and the copter returns safely. It then stops and hovers at about a distance of 5 meters from the home point. Why not using the return to home instead? It's always safer if you're yourself in charge. The return to home should really be an emergency tool only, while the home lock can be a very helpful tool, especially during long distance flights. So guys, right now let's just go for a short demonstration of the home lock function, but first we should make sure that the multiple flight modes are enabled. If you haven't done that already, you can right now follow my instructions. First off, you gotta tap at the quadcopter symbol at the upper left hand side of the monitor. Next you tap at advanced settings and now you simply tap at the slider right next to the multiple flight mode until that turns green and then you're good to go and can shut that window down. Right now we can start the copter, let's just bring it up into the sky. And for the home lock function to work, it is very important that you are at least 5 meters away from the home point. Right now we are about 30 meters over the home point, but right now let's just bring the copter 5 meters away or even further, maybe 30-40 meters. Just to show you guys how things work. So, 50 meters even. Wow, I'm somewhat brave today, huh? So right now let's just rotate the copter so we get disoriented, we don't know how to get the copter safely back. So right now you should take a look at the upper left hand side of your remote controller where you find the mode switch and you should toggle that switch from the P mode to the F mode and F mode stands for function by the way. And if you do that, this menu usually pops up, the intelligent navigation menu with the course lock, home lock, point of interest, follow me and waypoint and we are about to tap at home lock. And right now it tells us that the copter is 56 meters away from us and we tap at apply. And right now that we have tapped at apply, we can simply hold the right stick back. And no matter what the copter is rotated, like the copter will come back at our position and it's going to hover maybe 5 meters away from the home point. So it stops 5 meters away from the home point, hovers in air and if you now move to the right or left, uh, the copter is simply going to circle around the home point. I don't know why they actually applied that function because right now we've got the POI, the point of interest functions to uh, fly perfect circles. But who cares about that? Now the copter is 5 meters away only and we can bring it back to Earth safely. So we are going to exit. Okay. And right now we're again going to toggle the mode switch back to P mode and we can land the copter safely. So thanks for watching guys, this was Tom from TDD Tom's Tech Time, would be awesome if you would support my work at tomstechtime.com slash donate, would be awesome if you would return the help via a PayPal donation, and um, yeah, would be awesome. Leave a comment, subscribe, leave a thumb up as well, would be awesome to meet you on Facebook, facebook.com slash group slash Tom's Tech Time. This was Tom from TDD Tom's Tech Time, over and out, stay tuned, fly safe. <laughs>